Hello everyone. Welcome to latest update program. The topic of discussion is Yashoda AI launch. This topic relates to social justice section of the UPSC CSE syllabus. Recently, the Yashoda AI initiative was launched at Mahatma Jyotiba Phule Rohilkhand University, Bareilly. The initiative aims to advance women's AI literacy and digital awareness across India. Led by the National Commission for Women (NCW), Yashoda AI is India's first nationwide program empowering women. Before moving further, an important announcement: the next offline batch of the IAS GS Foundation course, Prelims Plus Mains, is starting soon at Drishti IAS, Noida. The English medium batch will begin on 4th June at 8 a.m. and Hindi medium batch will begin on 9th June at 3 p.m. For more details, contact eight seven five zero one eight seven five zero one. Now let's discuss about Yashoda AI. Yashoda AI focuses on fostering digital literacy, safety, self-reliance, and leadership for women in India's AI-driven future. The campaign includes interactive discussions on AI-related crimes. digital privacy and practical safety measures for women yashoda ai women with essential knowledge to confidently navigate the digital world and protect themselves from cyber threats the initiative actively involves students educators and women in the police force to create a community driven digital education model it emphasizes awareness about ai driven crimes gender justice and digital safety innovations for women now moving on to details about national commission for women ncw the ncw is the statutory body of the government of india generally concerned with advising the government on all policy matters affecting women it was established in january 1992 under the provisions of the indian constitution as defined in the national commission for women act 1990 the objective of the ncw is to represent the rights of women in india and to provide a voice for their issues and concerns it carries out studies provides recommendations to the government regarding policies and implements campaigns across the nation related to gender equality security and law education now is the time for practice question Consider the following statements about the National Commission for Women (NCW). 1. The NCW is responsible for monitoring women-related policies and laws in India. 2. The NCW is the statutory body of the Government of India. Which of the statements given above is are correct? A. One only. B. Two only. C. Both one and two. D. neither one nor two send the answer for this question in the comment section thanks for watching for more informative content like share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications